protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you, Bruno Suarte. Touch him up. The black with green. California getting some of that high altitude training in to help with his conditioning. Overhand left by. Since then, he's been undefeated and he has fought at a different level. Hooking up with the Hall of Fame, a trainer. Beristein thinks that eventually, Gonzalez could move up to 130 pounds, but first thing is first, he wants to successfully defend. De Leon, De Leon the thicker guy, but definitely Gonzalez has a frame that could fill out to a bigger weight. We needed a rest, didn't we, for a second? <laughs> Catch our breath. Ponce De Leon so far trying to land what is almost like a catapult-like left hand, the southpaw. And now Gonzalez putting together a three-punch combination. Final five seconds of the opening round for the WBC Featherweight Championship. Pace, and that's when he started to do his best work. Intelligently, when you got a guy like Ponce who can hurt you with one shot. Six times between 2005 and WBC Featherweight champ making his fifth title defense. The former WBO Bantamweight champion. To have dimmed down a little bit. <laughs> There's no way they could have held the energy up either. No, they're getting a little rest here. And, and you know, it's not as if these guys aren't throwing punches. You see them, and they are picking, as you said, Paul, they're starting to pick up the pace and to find the range. Round two. It's the left hook or double left hook to the body and the head. And uh, Gonzalez, as I mentioned earlier, has scored Ooh. knockouts with that punch. Yes, he has, and he scored a nice right hand of the face of Ponce de Leon there. Final minute of the Second round with Hall of Famer Al Bernstein and welterweight champion Holly Malignaggi. Mark Anthony's listening. <laughs> and the spoiled fans here already a yeah. smattering of bows. Can about, you imagine? What have you done for me lately? <laughs> Sorry, they picked it up a little bit when the boos came. Ponce de Leon moves Gonzalez back as we head to the third round attacking or when you're picking your offense, you know, and it seems like both of these guys, they both re respecting each other's power. Yeah, you kind of expected that, especially for the beginning part of this fight. That was a, a good right hand by Gonzalez. Fighter sees blood, it spurns him on to do more. Let's see, let's see if Gonzalez gets excited over seeing the blood on, uh, on De Leon's face. Even if it doesn't hurt them too bad, it may open up the floodgates for, for yeah. a, a brawl to break out, you know? Both men are active. It's not as if they're not throwing. They're just not able to land as effectively as they'd like. Good right by Gonzalez, though. Ponce de Leon now coming forward. Him. Right to the body by the champion. As he wants to light that wick in their career. Again, combining for 80 KOs. Ponce de Leon working the jab in the final minute. Fights against le uh, lefties of note. Of lefties that are... are Gonzalez eight and three in world championship fights with seven wins by way of knockout. He's had a pretty good round here. 15 seconds left in the third round. WBC featherweight championship. Ponce de Leon going over top with the left hand, then a straight left through the guard. Another left hand for Ponce de Leon, who's backing up as we go to round four. Fighting the Orthodox champion, and there the Southpaw lands the left. I'll tell you, that cut, although it's not in a, in a bad spot yeah. on the scalp. Really good point, Paulie. Do you think a fight can be stopped with a cut at that point? You know, they've both scored knockouts and been stopped. I mean, Gonzalez, when he fought against Nishioka, I've mentioned that fight. He had Nishioka down, understands that it can go both ways. They know the other guy can punch. 44 yep. seconds left in the fourth round. Again, flowing, but it doesn't appear to be impairing Ponce de Leon's vision as Gonzalez lands the left hand. Ponce de Leon comes back with a left of his own, and... Ponce, Ponce de Leon has had mostly trouble with boxers. Yuriokas Gamboa beat him. I thought de Leon should have won, but Broner obviously uh, a bit of a boxer, more, more slick fighter. He's trying to follow that plan of, of boxing. He's in and he's out. He's not trying to sit there and trade with De Leon. Tough rounds to score. So far, we, we've seen the opposite. 
Yeah, you know, it's funny. De Leon seemed to come out a little bit aggressive, but uh, as the fight, as he started getting hit with a couple of pot shots and counters. Nah. Strategy, trying to work the angles. Gonzalez now comes in. So I think it's a smart idea on his part. See, it's setting up the right hand now. And wanting to deliver a left hand to the body and then a right hand upstairs. Ponce de Leon uh, really wanting to, to try to find the range. No. Left hook from the champion. He doesn't do that. And he's also counterpunching a little better now. Tries to get through the guard. The fifth round with 31 seconds left. Great job of blocking with his guard. Yep. In the final 10 seconds now of this fifth round. Round six, straight ahead. And Gonzalez landed well over 50% of the punches he threw. Ponce de Leon ma managed by one of the best managers in boxing, Frank Espinoza. And Frank believes there's still plenty left in this uh, fighter's career. I think he can still get some big wins. Again, blood workout, workout, trickling workout. from that cut work, stop, stop, stop. on the two fights in a row and, and two tough fights to officiate. Ponce de Leon suffering the cut in round two. Point here of the sixth round, Gonzalez. De Leon has a habit a lot of times when he throws in that left hand, he lunges in. Almeida alluded to it earlier, saying that uh, he shouldn't lunge in. But another thing that he does when he lunges in, he's coming in with his head. And I think it's yeah. causing the risk for these head clashes. That's a good point. If they're just not as accurate as they'd like to be. Great left hand by the challenger. A left from the champion. There's a one-two combination that connects. The bar was set pretty high in the first two fights. Marcos Maidana eligible for the $100,000 bonus for knockout of the night. The best knockout as chosen by the fans. And challenger Ponce de Leon, final five seconds. Ponce de Leon now coming forward and oh! Gonzalez was winning. Rolled a knockdown. Oh, Ponce de Leon with the late. Kind of a wild left hand. It seems he hooks it, yeah. Hooks it out of the southpaw stance, which is a weird punch to throw, and obviously you don't expect it. And he definitely got hurt, and the follow-up drops him. Nice body shot on the follow-up, too, by De Leon. Moments in boxing. Three of Gonzalez's seven losses have... One of their common opponents, the, the most important one, Jerry Penaloso, who's a former champion, Ponce de Leon, won a decision. And that was in the same year, so you can judge them a little bit by that in some respects. Unofficial scoring as done by our Showtime crew after six rounds. And uh, so it shows you this is a very close fight that could go either way, and those are close rounds to score. Ponce de Leon goes to the body, then goes upstairs with the right, and referee Bayless calls for the break. Now Ponce de Leon working the body, then going upstairs, backing up the champion. Ponce de Leon again working the body in the final minute now of the seventh round. De Leon, de Leon breaking him down. He's, he he's starting to break Gonzalez down. He recorded the knockdown late in round six and... Belt tonight. A lot of wear and tear on this 31 year old body. A 13 year veteran, and you start to wonder if he could be shop worn. We'll see, but he's coming back. Ponce de Leon at the age of 32 in his 48th pro belt tonight. So. Thank you for your time. Best of luck. We'll talk to you afterwards. And yet it seems in the last two rounds, Paulie, the, the challenger beginning to, as you mentioned, wear down the chip. Yeah, yeah. De Leon's physicality. By Gonzalez. So clear indication. And we look at the totals of uh, the fight. It's very, very, very close. close. Yeah. Dead even. Can't get much closer. But Ponce de Leon so much more active than Gonzalez. And so for a judge that doesn't have the show stats, you know, you're, those numbers thrown, it's going to make a big difference. Ponce de Leon beginning to Gonzalez's guard. Gonzalez then with a straight right through Ponce de Leon's guard. 
Gonzalez went down and threw the ropes at the end of round six following a flurry of punches from the challenger. Now Gonzalez putting together a combination majority of which was blocked by Ponce de Leon a little touch gloves is a sign of sportsmanship. Gonzalez is starting to use the left hook a little more. I think that's going to have to be something he's going to have to mix into this arsenal. Yeah. He's been very oh, busy. Clash of heads. And another accidental oh, clash of heads as they uh, batter each other like Rams. And we've seen this time and again when you've got the uh, southpaw against the orthodox mm. fighter. And we look at where this happened. De Leon coming in. And you made the point earlier, Paulie, when he lunges in. And uh, Gonzalez cannot see out of the right eye. And they are going to go to the scorecards for a technical decision. An unfortunate turn of events here in this WBC featherweight championship bout. All three in favor of the winner by technical decision. He is the new WBC featherweight champion.